Hey you guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Shakika C. I am doing today's video a little different. I'm showing you guys the final results instead of waiting. Why am I still doing That is because I have a few pointers to make. Excuse the lighting throughout this entire video, y'all. I recorded in my bathroom. I still am and the lighting in here is just, you know. Oh, another thing is the hair I use in today's video. I forgot to mention it. It is by the Expression Company. Is that yeah, expression is pre-stretched and I ordered five offline, but I only ended up using three packs. Um, what else? Today's look is actually a recreation of all of the YouTube gurus who be having their hair like this, but it be on wigs instead of box braids. They'll uh, uh, dye the streets in front of their hair blonde and then they'll leave the back black but i thought to do it with box braids i didn't see nobody else on youtube do this i was like why not recreate it i hope that you guys can find today's video helpful on how to do your box braids as i'm doing mines and you guys can turn out with your own look of whatever recreation you want to do peace here we go here we go here we go right now here go the plait hair so i'm about to Go ahead and do what I do to start my plait. Yeah, I'm gonna turn y'all a little bit more. So what I do is I have this like this and I grip it. And now I'm gonna grip my hair. Like, you know, grip it. Bring this right here around town. Go under, pull it. There go the beginning of my braid. Okay, and I'm not gonna braid it all the way down. And now we gonna measure it out with the plait and then we we'll bring it under you don't gotta bring it around town you just do your regular braid this is how i learned to do box braids and i've been doing it ever since i think i started doing these when i was like 12 years old So this is it, like I said, it's able to move around. Nothing really to it, twist it, do what you wanna do with it. Cause it's not stupid, don't tight or tight at all. I don't know if I mentioned this yet or I probably forgot, but if I did, I'm just gonna repeat it. This is how I try to make sure that my hair uh, braid thickness is all the same. It's by going off the feel. Like you can feel if something is too thick, like just looking at this braid, It'll come close enough because you got this up here, so it'll be like, okay. But if it's little, like a little less than this, and it just feels too thin in your spirit, add some more, okay? Voila! There we have it, folks. There we have it. She is up there. I'm about to show y'all how I part my hair right fast. Lift my glasses up. I really, to my best ability, while this camera is going, I'm gonna show y'all a little something fun. Even if you don't have a, a mirror, you can feel, like you can feel your line. And then go off of there. Feel your line as you go. And then you be like, oh, I feel some hairs. Just go in that straight line. And then, and then. There we go. Got your part. Put this bad boy on a pony. My little pony, literally. All right. <clears throat> now, let's do this set. We can speed through this or whatever. Okay, so I decided to come back on camera and show you guys 
um, really quick how even the tiniest hairs will be able to achieve box braids with this method because this right here is pretty short. So, I have to show you guys this right quick. Go in with some more hair to take over, to put over this right here. So this isn't tight at all, it's comfortable. Okay, so here go the final result. So I'm about to go off camera and finish the rest of my hair. I just really wanted to get on here and show you guys like, hey, even if you got shorter hair than this little stuff on my head, you can still get box braids.